it's very much like a chat bot, but you're having human-like conversations with it. And it's incredibly powerful. I'm Bonnie Christine, and this is where all things creativity, design, business, and marketing unite. I'm a mama living in a tiny town tucked right inside the Smoky Mountains, running a multi seven figure business, doing the most creative and impactful work of my life. But when I first set out to become an entrepreneur, I was struggling to make ends meet and wrestling with how to accomplish my biggest dream of becoming a fabric designer. Fast forward to today, I'm not only licensing my artwork all over the world, but also teaching others how to design their creative life and experience the same success. I'm here to help you spend your life doing something that lights you up. I'll help you build a creative business that also creates an impact changes people's lives, gives you all of the freedom you want, and is wildly profitable. Welcome to the Professional Creative Podcast. Today, I'm sharing with you how I've started using ChatGPT in my business. Have you been playing with this? If you don't know what ChatGPT is, I encourage you to go check it out. I think probably most of you have played with it, but I'm always surprised at how many people also haven't even heard of it yet. So ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool driven by AI. And so it's very much like a chat bot, but you're having human-like conversations with it. And it's incredibly powerful. It does an amazing job with almost anything that I've given it, but I've learned a lot of tips and tricks along the way on how to make it work best for my business and how I want to use it. And so I was actually sharing some of these tips and how I'm using it with my mastermind, the Mark Makers, this past week. And many of them were really surprised by them. They weren't using it in a similar way. And so I thought, why don't I bring it over here and share with you how I've been using it as well. So ChatGPT, you can kind of log in and you can use one of two different models. There's a ChatGPT 3.5 and a 4 at the time of this recording. This is all changing very quickly, I'm sure. But the 3.5 version is very quick, but the 4 version is more reasonable. And so I typically always use the version 4. And so you can absolutely have ChatGPT almost do anything for you. Think about things like help with your meal planning and help with writing emails or responses to difficult emails or help with really just any idea that you want to kind of jam with. But for me, very specifically, I never use ChatGPT cold. For instance, you could go over there and say something like, help me write an email on selling a upcoming creative retreat that I have. And you know what? It would honestly do a pretty good job. You would probably be surprised at how well it does. But it's not going to sound like you. And I think anytime I give ChatGPT something cold to work with, for one, it doesn't feel very authentic for me. And for two, it just doesn't really output exactly what I want. So here's what I do instead. I have taken a couple of pieces that I wrote completely organically that I love. They're a perfect representation of my speaking style and my writing style. And I think one was a blog post, one was an email, and one was a podcast transcript. And I gave that, copied and pasted it into ChatGPT. And I said, can you explain back to me what my speaking style is? And it did a phenomenal job of really recapping my tone and how I address my audience and how I speak. And so then I save that. And so anytime I'm working with ChatGPT on something, I always start with my speaking style is, and I give it right back exactly what it had told me it was, right? (laughs) It does a phenomenal job. And so one thing that's important to know about ChatGPT is that you can have as many chats as you want and ChatGPT remembers everything thread by thread. 
So I have one thread for like recipes and one thread for workouts. We'll talk about that. And then one thread for every topic of something I'm working on. So if I want help with, let's say a blog post on a particular topic, I'll keep it all in one thread. So I always start with my speaking style. So right off the bat, it knows my tone and how I generally address my audience. And then from there, I give it content to work with. In other words, I never have ChatGPT write something for me. I always write it out completely by myself to the absolute best of my ability. Then I'll take that content and give it to ChatGPT and have it help me tweak it. Sometimes I want it to be more concise. Sometimes I want it to be more compelling. Sometimes I might want it to sound more confident, but I still want it to sound like me. And so that's kind of the trick that I've learned is to warm up ChatGPT before it really gets on a roll. Warm it up with you, your voice, your content, things that you're really proud of that you've written all by yourself out of your own heart and mind first. And then it kind of becomes able to help you generate new ideas. And so that's how I've really loved to use it. Now, other ways that we use it are taking a complete finished body of work. Let's say, you know, maybe the transcript of this very podcast, I'll take and put that transcript into chat GPT and say, can you pull out the best quotes from this episode? Can you pull out anytime I mentioned a link? Can you help us bullet point show notes? And it'll very quickly do a really good job of just quickening the work after you're done with producing a piece of content. So just to reiterate, I don't like using ChatGPT to create content. I think it does subpar and it will never replace like your humanity, right? But bring everything you have to ChatGPT and then help it kind of help you flesh out ideas and change the tone of your writing piece a little bit. Um, Come up with titles for your blog posts or subject lines for your emails. And always do that reflective, this is my writing style or my speaking style is this. That has been a game changer. Then keep it in thread because it will remember that forever. So I mentioned that I also have a workout one. The other key to working with ChatGPT is to prompt it to think in the way that you want it to think. So if I'm looking for, let's say I've written an entire email and I'm looking for ideas for a subject line, I'll put the entire email in ChatGPT and I'll I'll ask for maybe five different subject lines to choose from. But what's really important is to prompt it in the way that you want it to think. So I'll say something like, pretend you're a world-class copywriter and I've hired you to specifically help me generate subject lines for my email. Okay. And then let's say I'm traveling and I want travel workouts, but I want them to be CrossFit style with no weights involved and under 15 minutes each, right? Well, I'll say, pretend you are a CrossFit coach and I've hired you to train me this week. You know, you have to kind of tell it what you want it to react like. Is it a writer? Is it a storyteller? Is it a coach? And it will do a really great job when you prompt it in the way in which you want it to think. So I'd love to know how you're using ChatGPT. There's a million ways. I honestly can't even imagine what it was like before we had it. I think that this is one of those things, all of the AI technology that's coming along to help creators be more efficient in their business. It's going to be like the internet. One day we're not even going to remember how we did what we did without it. And so if you've been avoiding it, I know I see you, I would suggest just diving in and playing with it. You can absolutely play with it in a heartfelt, full of integrity type of way. And it's also definitely not going anywhere. So it's time to embrace it. And I think that you'll love it. We'll link all of this up over in uh, today's show notes. This was a quick episode, but I just wanted to give you some insight into how I have really been enjoying my new AI friend, ChatGPT. (laughs) Friends, create the beauty that you want to see come alive in the world. And remember, there's room for you.